Loving and gracious God, we lift our prayers to you, knowing that you hear all of our prayers, whether spoken or unspoken, for you know all that is on our hearts and minds. Grant us, Lord God, a vision of our world as your love would make it, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor, a world where the benefits of abundant life are shared and everyone can enjoy them. A world where different races and cultures live in tolerance and mutual respect. A world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. And give us the inspiration and courage to build it through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Father, today we thank you for our church. While some might think of doors and windows, we're praising you for spirits and hearts. The people whose lives you've intersected are remarkable through your grace. We can't praise you enough for the unique way you've blended the talents of individuals into beautiful masterpieces of joy. We ask for your blessing on all church leaders at this difficult time especially for Stephen, Graham, Kat, Alistair and the church wardens. In spite of Zoom or YouTube, we all miss physical contact, whether by a friendly greeting, a handshake or a hug, and how we miss singing the familiar hymns in church. We ask that you'll inspire us all to continue to find ways of sustaining our community of faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we pray for our own community and thank you for the way it has been strengthened during this pandemic by the love and care of many. Help us to be supportive and encouraging and to step into situations where we can serve. Bless our neighbours and strengthen those who are working in your name in order to bring healing and comfort to those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, your son Jesus Christ healed the lame with a touch and raised the dead with a word. Hear our prayers today for those who are laid low by sorrow and illness or by fear and weakness. Breathe new life into them as we name them in our hearts before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, be especially close to all of us who are thinking of someone we loved and knew but see no longer, whether family, friend, colleague or neighbour. So many have lost loved ones and the loss has been made so much worse by the need to avoid contact with family and friends. Help us to trust that they are at peace with you and comfort us with your presence. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. When this is over, may we never again take for granted a handshake with a stranger, full shelves at the store, conversations with neighbours, a crowded theatre, Friday night out, the taste of communion, a routine check-up, the school rush each morning, coffee with a friend, the stadium roaring, each deep breath, a boring Tuesday, life itself. When this ends, may we find that we have become more like the people we wanted to be, we were called to be, we hoped to be, and may we stay that way, better for each other because of the worst. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.